I'd like to talk a little bit about how one would take a hymn to church. Uh, many times you'll hear gospel musicians uh, or singers say, take me to church. They'll tell the band to take me to church. And I know this is something that I get uh, questions and inquiries about constantly. How do you look at a hymn from a hymn book? Or how do you take a song and how do you uh, take it to church? Or this is a word I'm going to make up, gospelize it, uh, to make it authentic. So I'm going to take a very, very familiar uh, gospel hymn. Uh, it's like a standard in gospel music. This is entitled, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. It was written by uh, the well-known Thomas Dorsey. Uh, he actually got the uh, melody from a hymn by George Allen called Maitland. And uh, he set the hymn to uh, uh, this, the words, Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, help me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. This is a very popular uh, hymn, gospel song that's sung at funerals. For example, Leontine Price sang it at the funeral of uh, President uh, Lyndon B. Johnson. Uh, Aretha Franklin sang it at the funeral of Mahalia Jackson. Uh, many times, uh, Martin Luther King, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, would love for this hymn to be sung before a famous speech or before a gathering uh, for the Civil Rights Movement. Uh, actually, it's very important uh, when approaching gospel music or approaching any music to have an understanding of what the composer uh, was trying to convey, what feeling uh, the composer wanted to be uh, depicted, what should be said uh, through the song. Especially as a pianist dealing with gospel piano, it's very important to understand the lyrics. Uh, because that way you can try to emote and try to uh, send that same message across in your playing, even if it's instrumental without the presence of a vocalist. This particular hymn, uh, uh, Thomas Dorsey wrote it after the uh, imminent death of his wife, who was actually, uh, she died in childbirth, and he lost his wife uh, and his son at the same time. And he sat at the piano and began to write uh, this song. So I'm going to play it from the hymnal and then I'll show you uh, a few pointers on how to take it to church, so to speak. This is an A flat, by the way. I took it at a tempo that's very solemn and slow, and I tried to play it full of meaning. Um, now, the first thing that you would do to take something to church or to play it in an authentic gospel style uh, on the piano is you'd use octaves in the left hand to give it a fuller bass sound. And you can also use, uh, the musical term I'll use today is uh, tremolo which is this. Uh, for example, I play an A flat octave, and if I repeat the notes within the interval and roll them like this, that's tremolo, rolling the octave. So once I have this billowing sound out of the bass, instead of playing the melody in thirds, I'll actually take the chord as an arpeggio, like A flat. That's an A flat major scale. The A flat major chord, and I'll use uh, inversions. An inversion just taking the root of the chord and placing it at the top of the chord, and then taking what was the third and now placing it at the top. So this is root position, first inversion, second inversion. So I'll do the melody like this. So instead of again using just thirds, I'm also taking a triad 
based on B flat minor, and I'm using arpeggios as well. And then another element of gospel music is to use chromaticism, uh, the use of the half step. Uh, for example, then I can also use tremolo in the right hand. Now, uh, for example, I'm using uh, a fifth in the left hand, I'm playing A flat and E flat, and I have here an A flat seven with the sixth, leaving out the fifth, and I'm leaving out the root note, A flat and E flat, so I'm playing F sharp, C, F, and A flat. Again, I'll play that again. music. Uh, I'm basing on the bass notes 2, 3, 4, 5, so I'll use the 2 chord in A flat major, which is B flat minor. I'm playing an inversion of B flat minor. Then an inversion of A flat major with the 3rd in the bass, C. Same thing again, it's the B flat minor chord with the 4th scale degree in the bass, D flat. Then up one whole step in the bass note to an E flat, the fifth scale degree, with A flat used again. So I can go. If you notice, I also took my uh, my foot off the pedal because it uh, clears out the sound instead of playing it with the pedal down. It gets a little muddy, so I decided after rolling to take my foot off the pedal and be percussive, and not just percussive, but also to try to play each note uh, with a pointed uh, emphasis. That is a lot of times you hear that type of ending in gospel, uh, and basically the way I think of that is using my pinky to play uh, the octave. It's actually two octaves here, but of course I don't need to use the octave with the thumb because I can use my uh, thumb, second finger, uh, third finger to first and second finger if you want to say it that way. But I can use these fingers for the inner voices as such. So if we, if we take out the octave, it's like this. These are sixths. And I may slide into one of the notes. So, let's see if you can follow along with the techniques I just showed you.
F and A flat. Now I want to say this, this the words here are take my hand, so I want it to be very emphatic. Now this is the same thing we have with B flat, but now instead I'm using B flat, D flat, and E natural. like this. Basically I'm just playing the bass uh, staccato and I'm repeating the chord in the right hand twice afterwards. Almost like a type of triplet uh, as a percussion instrument. It's not only a stringed instrument but it's also a percussion instrument. So for example, if you were accompanying a vocalist on this song that would be a great time to do that. left hand Is precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, help me stand. I am tired, I am weak. Goes to the sixth chord in the hymnal, but I decided to walk up from I am tired and walk up uh, from the bass. Instead of using the fourth scale degree, which is D flat, I went up a half step and used D natural. And I'm playing a chord on that, it's uh, like an F6, ending to a B flat. Then I'm going to use uh, a leading tone to the 6, which is E natural. But instead of going and keeping it uh, in the, the tonal uh, key, I'm actually going to end on the C sharp or D flat. So, which almost makes it diminish. Then uh, instead of just playing an F minor, I'm going to play a suspension with the 2nd, which is G to F, like voices singing. And instead of just playing an F minor in the, the left hand, I'm going to play uh, a D to put that in there for some color seasoning. Uh, and I'll roll up there. So it's the tritone, which is used a lot in jazz and blues. the night and I'm playing here an A major in the right hand with the third and the fifth of an E flat major in the left hand. The fifth you know uh, based on the fifth scale degree E flat. So through the night scale was basically the pentatonic again, like you'd use for blues, but I left out the flat fifth. Works very easy uh, in certain keys. Uh, some keys are not as easy, but this is very good. Uh, it's very pianistic. It fits ergonomically for the hand. Well, I could have added other notes. But I was just using uh, uh, Sometimes you'll see a gospel singer doing this or say turn it around. 
to not be like this.